this is Jennifer Terry and welcome to my channel. So today we're having an immigration update. So in this video, we will talk about the press release that uh, the Bureau of Immigration has announced last October 7th. Um, we will also talk about, uh, I'll give you some more information about the foreign advisories that they have announced before. Um, so I will answer the questions that many of you have been asking from me and like has the travel ban been lifted are tourist visas allowed yeah and also if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and liking this video um you can check my channel and you'll see that i make immigration updates airline updates um the process in going home to the philippines so yeah so without further ado let's start so let's start with the press release, okay? So this press release was just um, announced or posted um, on October 7, okay? So let's read through it. So the Philippine Bureau of Immigration reminds public of travel restrictions. So in a statement by the uh, Bureau of Immigration Commissioner Jaime Morente, he retreated that foreign tourists are still not allowed in the country. So I've been getting a lot of questions about that, but um, this press release is just a reminder that the travel ban and travel restriction is still in place and really there hasn't been any changes to that. So um, foreign tourists are still not allowed. So who are allowed? So the same people. So this is the same announcement that they made um, last August 7. And the people who are allowed to enter the Philippines, of course, number one are Filipino citizens and um, immediate families of Filipino citizens. So who are they? So they are the foreign spouse and minor children of Filipinos and uh, children with special needs regardless of age. Of Filipinos next are uh, foreign parent of minor Filipinos so when we say minor so this is referring to people under the age of 18 so minor is under age so under the legal age under 18 so let's continue uh, foreign parent of Filipino children with special needs regardless of age and also accredited foreign government and international for go organization officials and their dependents, foreign airline crew members and foreign seafarers with 9C visa are allowed to enter the country. So these people and the category are allowed to enter the Philippines, okay? But there are more. Okay, let's continue. So the commissioner stressed that those who are eligible to enter are required to secure an entry visa from Philippine embassies or consulates prior to their arrival. So Filipinos don't need visa, of course, but foreign nationals or immediate families of Filipino nationals need a visa. So what is this visa? So this visa is the 9A visa tourist visa. Okay, so they are only issuing this visa for immediate families of Filipino citizens. Again, spouse, minor children, parent of uh, minor Filipinos, only those categories, okay? So if you want to know the requirements for the 9A visa, I've already made a video for that. If you want to check it out on my channel, have a look. And then there is also additional requirements. And I already made a video for that as well. Um, the title is Advisory and Foreign Nationals Who May Enter the Philippines. So check my channel because I really make um, immigration updates, um, information, and also airline updates, process on going home to the Philippines, all of that. So yeah, check my channels. And these videos, if you are immediate family, will be very helpful for you. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, we have encountered instances when spouses of Filipinos who previously enjoyed visa-free privileges tried to enter the country under the same manner, said Morente. So, um, as the what the commissioner said, there have been many cases where 
um, foreigners from visa-free privileges country like um, America, Canada, Australia, uh, most uh, many European countries, I, th I think around 157 countries, enjoy visa-free privileges to the Philippines. Well, because of this pandemic, that has been suspended, okay? So that has been suspended and you have to apply for a visa unless you are immediate family of a Filipino or holder of a long-term visa, then you're not allowed to enter the country. So yeah, tourists are not allowed, okay? Only immediate families and long holder of long-term visas, which we'll talk about later. Okay, so even if you are an immediate family, you are allowed to enter, but you still need a visa. As I mentioned, you can learn that from the videos I already made, and you can check that out in my channel, okay? Let's continue. And apart from that, on humanitarian grounds, requests for issuance of 9A visas may be made on behalf of the foreign partners of pregnant Filipino nationals. So this is a uh, an exemption, you know, if um, if you are a foreigner who has uh, who is a parent of a pregnant uh, Filipino national, um, you may be allowed to enter the Philippines under humanitarian reasons. But this is case to case basis. Okay, so what do you do? Well, you have to. Uh, submit or present these documents okay first is if you're a foreign partner of a pregnant Filipino citizen you have to provide your medical certificate next you have to provide a duly notarized affidavit executed by the foreign national stating that he is the partner of the pregnant Filipino national and father of the unborn child and that they have been in relationship even before the COVID-19 pandemic Okay. Next, we have other do documentary proof establishing the relationship between the foreign national and the pregnant Filipino national. So other documentary proof may be like photos, um, letters, messages. You know, the more um, proof that you have, the better. Okay, and next we have like trips that you've shared. That's also a proof of relationship. And next, we have documentary proof on the citizenship of the pregnant Filipino national. So, like a passport or a birth certificate, would that, that would be um, suitable. Okay? So, there may be other documents that will be asked with you, from you, but these are just the general ones. Okay? So, again, I mentioned Balikbayan visa is temporarily suspended. And consequently, Former Filipino citizens are encouraged to apply for dual citizenship under Republic Act 9225 if they have an urgent need to visit the Philippines. So this is also big news. This has been um, around for I think March, since March. So, But still a lot of people ask me this question like, I am a former Filipino, I was born in the Philippines, I have family in the Philippines, I have parents in the Philippines, you know. I have properties in the Philippines. People say people message me, but guys, um, um, the Bureau of Immigration has been telling us a lot of times that Balikbayan visa is suspended. Okay, if you're a former Filipino and you've um, been naturalized in another country, you've lost your Filipino citizenship, you don't have the Filipino passport anymore. Um, unfortunately, you are not allowed to enter the country. If there is an urgent need for you to enter the Philippines, the immigration um, strongly encourage you to apply for the dual citizenship. And in my opinion, actually, there is almost no disadvantage for the dual citizenship unless you are like running for a um, office in a government. But yeah, there are other things for that, but in general, dual citizenship is good, okay? Um, let's keep going. So, apart from that, 
who else are allowed to enter the Philippines. So the holders of these visas, if you are an existing holder of these visas, you're also allowed to enter the Philippines, okay? So the first one is um, Section 13, Series of Commonwealth Act 613. Next are RA7919 visa. Number three, EO324 visa. Number four, native born visa. Number five, temporary resident visa relative to Section 13. And lastly are the permanent resident visa based on Section 13A. So if you are a holder of any of these visas, well, you are allowed to enter the country. And take note, they don't issue new visas, only the 9A visa for immediate families. So yeah, if you don't have this visa and you are, if you are not an immediate family, you can't enter the Philippines, unfortunately. Okay, hold, uh, moreover, holders of valid special investors resident visas or SIRVs and special retiree resident visas, SRRVs, though not exempted from the ban, they are not allowed, they may submit requests to enter the country to the concerned Philippine embassies or consulates, okay? So retirees and um, investors resident visas, you may be allowed to enter, but it's case-to-case -case basis and you have to submit a request. Please get in touch with the Philippine Embassy or Consulate nearest to you. So if they have found meritus, uh, merit, sorry, meritorious, the request will be submitted to the Department of Trade of Ind and Industry, the DTI. In the case of SIRVs, um, or the Department of Tourism. In the case of um, the retired retirement visa or the SRRVs, Foreign Service Circular number 36 2020. Okay, so you have to get in touch or coordinate with a government agency. So it depends. Okay, so if you are a SIRV, you need to get in touch with the DTI. And then if you are an SRRV holder, you need to get in touch with the DOT. But the best option is first get in touch with your Philippine Embassy or Consulate nearest to you. Okay, so this press release uh, was in coordination with the hashtag or the movement uh, or the petition that's been done by many people. Uh, they call it love is not tourism so the reminder comes following the petition of the love is not tourism movement which made waves in social media um, said movement petitions that foreign fiancés of Filipinos be allowed to enter the country unfortunately there was no changes although a lot of people really complained a lot of people want to let, let their uh, fiancé be together but unfortunately the government hasn't made any changes they are firm on these travel restrictions so fiancés are not considered immediate families therefore they are not allowed to enter the country so the government also reminds those who are al allowed to leave the country so of course foreign nationals are allowed to leave the country anytime next overseas filipino workers are also allowed to leave the country next are permanent visa holders they're allowed to leave the country and last is students enrolled abroad and participants accepted in exchange visitor programs so essential travel of Filipinos for business and work, medical, emergency, and other humanitarian reasons, reasons may be allowed subject to sufficient supporting documents. So you have to get in touch with the Bureau of Immigration. Now essential travel according to the commissioner is for immediate business, medical emergency, and other humanitarian, they may be subject to sufficient supporting documents as I have said. So visiting relatives abroad for a vacation is still not considered under essential travel. So Filipinos who hold tourist visas are not allowed to leave the country. So if your travel is non-essential, it is best to defer it when the pandemic has subs 
subsidized or subsided so that's what the commissioner said they're very firm in their restrictions guys and like you I'm also watching out for any new updates and if there is if the ban is lifted or if there any like restriction lifted I would definitely make a video for that now if you have any questions or any clarifications comment down below but the best option you have of course is to get in touch with the Bureau of Immigration okay so I don't work for them all the information I provided here was taken from a reliable source and I will try to link down the I put the link on the description box so you can check yourself so if you want to contact the Bureau of Immigration they have their telephone number at plus six three two eight four six five two four hundred or at eight five two four three seven six nine or better yet you can email them at imigph at gmail.com or at binoc underscore immigration at hotmail.ph okay so thank you so much i hope that you have um, gained some useful information from this video thank you so much for supporting my channel and i hope to see you again for a next update whether it is an airline update or an immigration update and by the way i've already made videos about the flight schedules of philippine airlines and cebu pacific on my channel if you're interested you can check that out on my channel so um, I hope that you guys all stay safe, healthy, and hopeful. Hopefully, we don't know when this pandemic will end, but hang in there. And yeah, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and like this video. If you love me, don't skip the ads. And that is all for this video. Thank you so much. I'll see you again next time. Bye!